In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, licensing within Microsoft Loop. Now, Microsoft Loop does not have a standalone licensing model. It basically comes embedded with Microsoft 365 license. So if you have Microsoft 365 Business Standard, Microsoft 365 Business Premium, E3 or E5 Microsoft 365 licensing, then basically you can use various functionality within Microsoft Loop. As you see over here in the screenshot, uh, if you navigate to a user in the admin center, then you can see uh, a component called as Microsoft Loop, which comes as a part of now, I have an E5 developer license, and that's why it is showing me Microsoft 365 E5 developer. Uh, and then here, if I tick this box, then Microsoft Loop licensing applies to me. Now, if I untick this, then I cannot use the Loop component. Now, let me show you uh, in Microsoft 365 Admin Center, if I navigate to my, uh, say, users list, active users list, then under licenses and app, I should be able to see uh, Microsoft uh, Loop component. Okay. Now, under licenses, you will not uh, find, you will find basically under licenses, some of the uh, items. Okay. Now, if you navigate to apps, so if I navigate to apps, so then you can uh, find the list over here. Okay, so I'm just scrolling down to show you where does it exist. So you see Microsoft Loop as a part of Microsoft 365 E5 developer license. Now, if you navigate to microsoft.com ENUS Microsoft Loop website from Microsoft under C plans and pricing, you will be able to see all the licenses related to uh, Microsoft Loop. Now here it will basically navigate to Microsoft 365. So in Microsoft 365 business standard, okay. Now if you see here, uh, Microsoft 365 business standard, you see a loop application so you can make use of loop component if you have a business standard license and same goes with business premium okay but if you have a business basic you will not be able to use loop same with microsoft 365 apps for business you can't use loop from an enterprise perspective in microsoft 365 there is e3 e5 and f3 plans now again here you can find Microsoft Loop application as a part of E3 subscription. So if you have E3, you will have Microsoft Loop. If you have E5, you can have Microsoft Loop. But uh, in F3 application, you do not have a Loop component. So you cannot use Microsoft Loop in F3. Now, same goes with Office 365. So if you have an Office 365 subscription, E1, E3 okay so here there is no mention of loop component so make sure that you have a correct subscription so that uh, you can utilize Microsoft loop now I don't see a list of loop over here loop component so that means it is not part of uh, that particular subscriptions similarly if you go to frontline government uh, non-profit uh, here also you will uh, you can just list, see the list and if you do not find loop component that means the loop component is not uh, say applicable or you cannot use loop component if you have that particular licensing model so same goes with government office 365 government g3 g5 microsoft 365 government g3 microsoft 365 government g5 now here i cannot see the loop component so if it is not there then then means you cannot technically use the loop component uh, again going back to non-profit so if you have a license which belongs to a non-for-profit organization here uh, microsoft 365 business basic business standard business premium here you can't see the loop component so that means loop cannot be used now just to summarize if you have a microsoft 365 subscription which is either an E3 or an E5, then you can use Microsoft Loop component. Okay. And again, how to access the Loop component is you need to go into the Waffle menu, click on Explore All Your Apps, 
and once you export all your apps uh, you can find it under all apps you will see a loop and then from here you can click on loop and then it will take you to loop.microsoft.com whereby you will be presented with the workspaces here the segregation is workspace recent components and pages ideas and you can further go into the workspace and then start authoring your pages so that's it folks this is all about licensing for microsoft loop thanks for watching